Friends, today is Monday, the 9th of November, and we're in my office. It's my day off. I'm doing a little work here and taking a few moments just to celebrate with you the Feast of the Dedication of St. John Lateran, the Basilica in Rome. An important church in the world, an important church in the city of Rome. It's actually the cathedral of the city of Rome, and thus it's the Pope's cathedral, St. John Lateran. And the readings today deal with the church, both as a church structure and as the church who are the people, are the people themselves. And the gospel um, stretches things oh, even beyond that to take a look at the temple, the temple in Jerusalem and Jesus, who will become the new temple. The Gospel is taken from the very beginning of the Gospel of John, and it, we sometimes call it the cleansing of the temple, Jesus moving into the temple, temple area and pushing out all of the merchants and money changers and so on. It's quite a dramatic scene. And John, the reading is from the Gospel of John, John places it at the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. The other Gospels put it later, closer to the Passion, because it was one of the things that uh, historians tell us may have been what precipitated the Passion and the death of Jesus. And so a very important scene in the Gospel, and of course in the Gospel of John, Everything is very symbolic, very symbolic, always a deeper meaning than we see highlighted, not just Jesus performing uh, and doing all sorts of things, um, pushing over tables and whatnot in the temple, but indicating something deeper. In other words, a change, a big change is taking place in the worship of Israel and Christianity. Taking a look at the Gospel, it says that it is the Jewish feast of Passover, the feast of Passover, and Jesus has come from Galilee to Jerusalem. Passover was a pilgrim feast, and people came from all over the Mediterranean world to the temple in Jerusalem to celebrate the feast. Similar, I suppose, to the um, Muslim uh, people all over the world who come to Mecca for their pilgrim shrine. And, and so Jesus is in the city with many, many pilgrims. In fact, there would have been hundreds of thousands of pilgrims in the city, and thus coming in and out of the temple in some kind of order that uh, the authorities had uh, developed. And people coming from many parts of the Mediterranean world had different kinds of coins. And one type of coin uh, that uh, we talked about once before has the picture of Caesar on it. And no image, no graven image could come into the temple. And thus the people had to change their money in order to pay the temple tax and in order to buy animals, sheep, for the sacrifice that... Uh, the priest would perform. And so Jesus comes in into this very active, kind of probably loud and volatile sort of atmosphere, and he sees the money changers, he sees all the merchants and people selling animals, and says that, how does he put it here in the gospel? It says that he made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen, spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. My father's house a marketplace. A reference to the relationship of Jesus and the Father, setting the tone at the very beginning of the Gospel of John. Some scripture scholars tell us that uh, the scene here in the temple is a kind of lens through which we see the whole Gospel of John, starting with this 
public ministry and moving towards his passion and his death. And as I just mentioned, Jesus speaks of his relationship to God as Father, as Father, this my Father's house. And um, the Father in the Gospel, of course, and the Gospel of John indicates that the Father is the source of the authority of Jesus and the source of his mission. And thus, through the entire Gospel, in this one scene, we see one action of Jesus in reference to the Father, but the whole Gospel will indicate his authority from the Father and the mission that he received and which he follows in obedience to the Father. Jesus claims that he would be, let me put it this way, the action that Jesus takes in Jerusalem would sort of follow through the whole gospel as a source of controversy. Jesus, we know, of course, is a controversial figure, but this action in the temple was perhaps the most serious, which the Romans themselves noticed, and that would continue to haunt him through the gospel, where the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the chief priests would question his authority, his relationship to the Father, and his fidelity to Israel itself. And of course, very sensitive to the Romans was any kind of violence or insurrection. The whole city could blow up. And so an eye, an eye was kept on Jesus. But Jesus says, destroy this temple, destroy this temple, and I will rebuild it. What did it say? He said, what sign? Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Three days I will raise it up. The temple, the physical temple, would one day be destroyed, and Jesus would become the new temple. A transition of the Old Testament to the new. The Old Testament system of sacrifices in the temple, the most sacred place for Judaism, but Jesus becoming the new temple, God's dwelling place now in him. And worship, worship would move from this physical temple to Jesus and his body. And our central worship is the Eucharist, the body of Christ, the new temple, the new center of worship for us as Christians. And all of that uh, packed into our reading today for this Feast of the Dedication of the Basilica of John Lateran. And thus on this day we remember with this reading that ultimately Jesus is the fulfillment of God's saving plan. Hold that thought. We'll see you tomorrow.